Should you even bother with a multi-channel home theater system in a small room? This is a question that I've received from a couple of people um, in response to my recent videos about configurations and whether it's worth going to Atmos, et cetera, et cetera. And it's an interesting question. Let me start off by saying that everybody really defines what a small room is acoustically differently. Talk to a uh, professional acoustician. They are used to dealing with large concert halls, large stadiums, things like that. So any room that you'd find in a house would be considered small acoustically to them. My definition has always been when both of the dimensions of the room get you know, significantly lower than 15 feet, my, my number is around 12 by 12. Anything smaller than 12 by 12, I consider a small room when it comes to acoustics because when you're in that tight a dimension, you are naturally going to be sitting fairly near field of the loudspeakers. Bass has trouble propagating, very, very low bass in a room that small, and there's a number of other, you know, acoustic challenges in those sorts of rooms. But let's go back to that question. Should you even bother with a multi-channel home theater system in a small room like that? Now, my opinion is, is that there's nothing wrong, and I've heard some incredible systems with smallish satellite speakers in small rooms. And it can work extremely well. But my recommendation is before you splash out on buying all of these components, what I would do is I would start off with a good AVR and you're likely not going to want to go beyond 5.1 in a small room. I'm not gonna say that you can't. I'm sure that I'm gonna get comments of people that say, well, I have a, I have a 7.2 Atmos system or 7.2.2 Atmos system in my, my 12 by 10 room and it works perfectly. This is just, of course, my opinion. But what I would do is start off with uh, a decent AVR and then focus on a good pair of main left and right speakers. And I would recommend just set that up in stereo before adding anything else to the equation. What you might find is that in a small environment like that, the down mixing of multi-channel movie and television mixes can give you, with a good setup, a very nice, spacious, room-filling sound with only two speakers. And I know many, many people who've resorted to just having stereo. There's nothing wrong with stereo. I know everybody will say, oh well, without the multi-channel, you can't get the, the effects, you can't get the height effects, you can't get this, that, the other thing. You're right in many cases, but guess what? In a small room, a pair of good speakers set up properly with a good natural soundstage and good imaging can be extremely impressive. So that's my recommendation if you've got a small room. Now, if you find that you're missing the surround information or dialogue's an issue, certainly add a center channel, add some rear surrounds, a subwoofer if you, if you really think that you need it. My recommendation, again, is to start off with stereo and see how that works for you. You might be surprised. I would rather spend more money on a better pair of stereo speakers than five less expensive, less well-performing channels in a small environment like that. So again, I thank you very much for commenting because this is exactly the sort of you know questions that we get that turn into a video that hopefully helped you and, and can help some others. Thank you as always for watching.